This video will show you how to edit and manage the forms on your website. You'll notice that your website has a freight quote form, it also has a carrier registration form, and you're able to create any other forms that you'd like. These are very easy to manage and edit. First thing you want to do is log into the website and go to your dashboard. If you're ever not sure how to get to the dashboard, you can just click up here in the upper left hand corner of the name of your website and it'll take you there. From the dashboard on the left hand menu, scroll, go down to where you see it says forms and click on that. And these are all the different forms that show that are currently part of your website. You can add a new one by just clicking add new, or if you wish to edit one, just kind of go ahead and click on the name of it. We'll start with the freight quote form. Just click on that. <clears throat> Here on the left hand side, you'll see it shows the various parts of the form. We have different boxes that uh, signify the different elements. You can click on one of these and it'll kind of expand to show the different settings. You can make things required by checking the required check mark. Uh, if you want to change the order they're in, you could just grab one of them by the little blue box at the top and then drag it wherever you want it to go. Uh, if you want to add new ones, you'll notice on the right hand side there's some options here. We have standard fields, advanced fields, things like email addresses and website stuff. You can just grab any one of these and drag it wherever you want it to be. And then uh, go ahead and click on it. If you want to change what it says, you could put in like uh, enter your email or whatever you want it to say. This is literally how it show up. If there's an element you want to get rid of, just click the little X up there and it'll ask you to confirm. And of course, once you're done making your changes, cl click update to save your changes. Another thing you might be wondering is how do you control where the form sends emails to? Go here to settings um, when you're editing the form. And what we want to do is say confirmations is referring to the, telling the person who filled it out that they it confirms that they filled it out correctly. Notifications is who gets told the form was turned out, filled out. So this is what we want to click on. We'll go ahead and leave the page, go to notifications. You'll see there's one called admin notifications. That's you. Click on edit. So what do you want to do is you'll see right here it says send emails to type your email address in here. By default, it'll go to the website uh, admin email address, but it's best just to manually type your email address in there. And then of course the from, this could be the same thing. Type in any email address you'd like. It's best if this email address matches the, the, the URL of your website. So for example, if your website is myfreightbroker.com, this could be you know admin at myfreightbroker.com or ralph at myfreightbroker.com. When you're done making your changes, just scroll down to the very bottom, hit update to save. And that's pretty much the basic things you need to know about um, managing forms. The only other thing we tell you about is confirmations. So if someone fills out the form, it shows them a nice message that says thank you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the confirmation. We have a couple options. In this case, it goes to a thank you page that you can edit with the pages. Or we could just set it to text and type in something right here, like a thank you message. And once you're, or it could redirect to something else, a completely different website or URL. And once you're done, go ahead and hit save uh, confirmations to save your changes. Please feel free to contact support should you have any questions.